Taking a look at the modular combat bandolier from Spec Ops. This is a pretty interesting uh, design in my opinion. So it's the modular combat bandolier. I guess I'll quickly mention their packaging. I'm a real fan of it. They don't offer a lot of garbage, not a lot of plastic. Um, just this cardboard uh, sort of nylon tacked onto the gear. Uh, it tells you some of the features of the bandolier. And uh, then, of course, has all their contact information because these all have uh, lifetime guarantees. So it's made out of high-quality materials, made 100% made in the USA. And let's take a look at it. It's fairly simple. It's a uh, just a panel with molly, correct molly. And uh, it allows you to attach pouches, um, like this utility pouch. Or this utility pouch or this utility pouch that we covered in another video uh, they allow you to attach pouches like that holsters um, really anything that uses this molly fastener or even just uh, different gear that might work with it uh, you can you know attach a light like this um, lots of different gear you can use with these sort of simple foundation and what we've got is a shoulder strap that's removable with these fasteners. Made in the USA fasteners. Made by Spec Ops. Easy to put back in. You've got a belt strap. Same thing. Spec Ops own fasteners. Heavy duty. They're not just going to come right apart. Good quality plastic definitely seems quality. You've got a uh, polymer uh, adjustment straps as well from Spec Ops. So um, just playing with this one, you can see it's still brand new, but just playing with it, the straps are large enough for our tallest people that played with it. The uh, waist strap is definitely large enough for a big fat guy or um, if you have armor on or something, it's going to go around whatever gear you might have on. There is uh, a small s slot here. So if you want to attach a lanyard to it uh, to make it a little easier to get. A lot of people with something like this will just leave one side attached. And then maybe elastic or tie up the other side with some shock cord. So that it's easily accessible. Or you could just keep it inside or in one of the pouches. I'm going to take it off so it's a little easier to uh, demonstrate here. And then you've got the shoulder strap, which again is easy to span. Um, this is its shortest, and then it'll go to double this length on either side. Nice big padded shoulder strap, so no matter how much gear you might be carrying in this, um, no problem with the weight. Very well made, everything's double stitched. If you follow the attachment points, they go all the way, three quarters of the way down here. Uh, it's got the molly on both sides, so you can have pouches on both sides, potentially creating your own med kit, your own resupply, your own tool kit, really just about anything. The options are limitless. Then uh, in the center, big, super heavy zipper with two glides, so you can use, wear it left or right-handed, uh, operate it with either hand, super sturdy zipper, super well made and just the, the quality on these is really interesting and then uh, of course the spec ops label with their uh, contact info if we turn this one inside out which we like to do you'll see again that the the, stri the shoulder straps substantial webbing No loose ends, no frayed threads or anything. And again, the stitching and the construction around the corners, just everything's double stitch, everything's super heavy. So it's the combat, or the modular combat bandolier. They run about 80 bucks. 100% USA made, quality materials, great design, 
Can't wait to get it out and run it as a, you could run this as a chest rig, I suspect. Definitely run it as a giant med kit or a slim down med kit. You could have this as your run and gun bag. You could have this as your resupply. Just like I say, options are going to be endless with this one. Really interesting piece of gear.